This Ridley O sponsored by Keenvention Yard Info. It's a keen convention you'll have to go. Without taxes, who would repair the roads? Uh, from the looks of this, I'm getting the impression no one is repairing them currently. Who would defend America from foreign threats? Well, from the looks of the terror war, it looks more like we get the same answer. No one is currently doing it. They're oriented more toward creating new foreign threats. Nevertheless, these questions do need answering. And the answer is pretty simple. The answer is you. You would build the roads, and you would defend America from foreign threats. And you would do a damn sight finer job than the people currently pretending to do it. Now, you might not pick up a weapon and directly hunt Al-Qaeda Al members, but you would be able to choose how you want to defend or not defend yourself uh, and which roadways you want to support. Uh, currently, you're sort of restricted from doing that. There was an incident in New Hampshire where a lady, she, she wasn't trying to build a road, but she was trying to help maintain a poorly looked after New Hampshire right-of-way. She was threatened with arrest. There was an incident in the early aughts, I guess it was 2001, where Fox News reported that Cantor Fitzgerald was trying to form a private army to hunt for Osama bin Laden after many of its people were killed in the Trade Center. Fox News then reported that defense officials were discouraging Cantor Fitzgerald from taking this action. I personally would like to develop some sort of defense-related technology or think tank, but the likelihood is that I'd probably have to go out of country to do it safely. I don't want to do it, so nothing happens. For example, one thought that I had was that uh, if I lived in Estonia I or Liechtenstein or Switzerland, I'd probably have the tacit support of the defense industry if I were to design a device that builds holes in the ground uh, but is very small and cheap. Uh, or a drone that is very small and can enter a building to photograph uh, and record the activities of an invading enemy army that's in a building. You know, the kinds of technologies that would be particularly useful in Ukraine right now or Estonia in the future, should the Russians invade. I'd like to develop technologies like that, but there's no profit motive for me to do something like that, especially inside the United States, because I know I'd just be shut down. And if I don't know it, I have to at least suspect it. So that's, that's just me. Imagine the other 350 million Americans, how many different great ideas they probably have for defending the country, but they're not allowed to do it by uncertainty. Imagine the kind of defense this country would be capable of if pre people were freed up to develop and sell to the public technologies like this. If people like Cody Wilson, who developed a technology for printing a 3D gun with your computer and a 3D printer, imagine if his information were not banned. Imagine if that information were encouraged. Any weaknesses that our country might have in defense right now are a result of individuals being forbidden from defending themselves. Of course, in many states, you know, it's, it's very uh, complicated to get to a point where you can actually carry a firearm to work, even in your car. Well, it's no wonder with a society of uh, neutered people that people feel a little nervous about their safety. Uh, maybe I'm exaggerating a little bit. You probably could carry in your car in most states, but to, to really be able to conceal carry in most states is a fairly complicated process. There are uh, possible restrictions coming down the pike on body armor, which uh, might be a less practical defense tool in most circumstances, but it's totally defensive. Why do people feel like they're relatively poor these days? Well, it's because other people are banned or restricted from engaging in commerce with them. Yes, a neighbor might still be allowed to hold a garage sale in your neighborhood if you're lucky, but really starting a business is discouraged by the authorities. Not technically banned, but you're banned from doing it if you don't f jump through certain hoops first. This increases prices. Taxes increase prices, perhaps exponentially. The Libertarian Party estimated that a Ford Taurus back around 2003 should only cost about two or three thousand dollars. 
it was costing more like twelve to fifteen thousand because there was a compounding tax effect. Where, for instance, the wires that went into a component inside the engine were taxed, and other aspects of that component were taxed. The component was taxed. The car was taxed. Some of the individual items inside that vehicle would have been taxed five or six times before the buyer purchased the car. Again, if you imagine all that going away, all those basic bans, in a sense, a tax is a ban on selling something. You're, you're banned from selling it without engaging in the tax, right? So anyway, all those bans were lifted. Things would become so inexpensive that we'd be living in a Star Trek universe where almost everything is considered, I mean, larger and larger number of things are treated as free. It wouldn't technically eliminate poverty, but it would turn poverty in, in relative poverty would seem like wealth to us. So again, when any anyone's coming to you and proposing a government solu solution for poverty or a government solution for anything, the solution is for the government to stop banning something. If there's a problem with terrorism, then the then the bans or restrictions on firearm possession, body arm use, private surveillance private security. All those restrictions, lifting those would go to the heart of the terrorism issue. Lifting restrictions on repairing your own road and building your own road would help solve the shortage of roads. <laughs> By the way, there's also a restriction on flying cars, which if developed w uh, or allowed to fly, they're already developed, uh, would eliminate the need for roads or at least reduce the, the need. If something's wrong, something's banned. To fix it, find and eliminate the ban. This Ridley O sponsored by Keenvention.info. It's a keen convention, you'll have to go. Only 50 bucks held near the peak of leaf peeping season in a place that's fascinating even without its natural beauty. The purpose is to focus discussion on New Hampshire freedom activism. Keen Invention Info. It's a keen convention. You'll have to go.